I feel like we gotta hold hands for this shot. You know why? Why? It's our anniversary. We don't have an anniversary. Six months living in Panama. It is? To the day. No way. It doesn't really feel like we're in another country. Yeah. It feels so cozy, it feels, it just feels right, you know? Yeah. And yesterday was kind of like the first time where I had a realization that my biggest concern, I feel like, doesn't need to be a concern. And what's your biggest concern? Let's just start with yesterday. show you something. Guess so You're going to be so disappointed in me. Yeah. Look, I had to make my coffee this morning. <laughs> kidding me? But what? <laughs> I have your filter. Does this for me? Thank Jordan, you. Jordan, for Jordan. Thank you. Thank you, Rodrigo. You're welcome, Please, man. Thank you. My taste buds, thank you. <laughs> for not having to make coffee out of paper towels anymore. <laughs> See you later. So today's gonna be a big day. We're running up to the land. We got our buddy Richard with us. He's uh, moving into town. Hi. <laughs> and he came all the way from Trini Trinidad. Trinidad. So we have a new friend. We do have a new friend. And his name's Richard. And he's freaking awesome. And having someone from Trinidad and Tobago, like, so cool, like having someone that grew up on a small little island. Even just listening to him talk, I could just listen to him talk all day. And, I love the accent. And like they have different sayings like, Touch me day. Touch me day. <laughs> so Richard actually reached out to us through email because he was planning on coming to Bogete. So he's watched a few of our videos and okay. he's interested in moving here. And it was so fun when we brought him up to our land to see his reaction <laughs> yeah. when he saw it for the first time. He was just running around. How does it feel? Unreal. Surreal. Does it feel like you expect it? You don't have much of a view though. Usually it's a huge volcano right there. But you're up in the clouds, man. I'm here. <laughs> oh my god, this is sick. I love the workout that comes with being here. So it's time for us <laughs> to get to work. We want to get all the decals off because it's been taking so dang long. But now we had some help, so we figured we could power through it. Slowly pulls off the skin on your fingers. <laughs> I know. Oh man. Remember we thought we were gonna finish this all in one day? I know. So Not that's quite. That's how it's kinda of gone for everything. <laughs> you think you're gonna do it all in one day and it takes five. <laughs> <laughs> we could move like every other one just down a little bit. One of the good things is we get <coughs> we get a lot of like information and feedback on our comments. You guys give us a ton of information and we try to read as much as we can, but we can't read it all. Because if you look at, I don't know, 300 or 400 different pieces of feedback, you wouldn't even know if you were, you know, the way that you were walking was correct. You start questioning everything that you're doing. But one of the big, uh, big pieces of feedback we got was to spread these citrus trees out. So we gotta make that decision today or tomorrow. Probably the sooner the better, but. I don't know. We want it to be a wind block, so we'll have to think about it. Trying to get this dang decals off, man. It's so hard. Well, I put this water heater on in my mother's driveway maybe 18 months ago. <laughs> if you told me I was gonna be ripping it off from a, on the mountainside in Panama at the time, I'd tell you you're out of your mind. If you give it a nice look right there, it's actually held together with a zip tie and some epoxy. <laughs> but it still works, <laughs> which is all that matters. Yo, 
You want an old rusty water heater? You can have it if you want. <laughs> so our biggest concern, I would say, this whole deal was the community aspect. 100%. Like that's kind of what has always been very like front of our mind. Yeah, even originally when we were planning on, on moving here, when we were kind of going back and forth. I'm like, oh man. Yeah. I don't know how I hope this community thing works out like we want it to. Right. And I feel like we're finally starting to get reassurance that it's gonna work out. Yeah. Right. And Brittany and Drew have been like, unbelievable they've like, been amazing the biggest thing that sticks out to me is honestly how courageous they've, they've been and yeah, they sacrificed everything to they, come and be here yeah and they're like you know what we don't know if if this is where we we do want to be but we're gonna come give it a try for for three months see how it goes worst case we help you guys out get some experience and get a feel for t starting a tiny house community yeah so we those guys are always gonna have a special place in our hearts, on our land, because they were the first ones to just be like, all right, we're coming. Totally. And we've been trying to do everything we can to help them and just give them any resources that they need. So we've been letting Drew use the motorcycle and he's, he's been, been having a blast. Ah! <laughs> oh, ah! shit. <laughs> That's what you get for showing off. <laughs> <laughs> Face these fruit trees out more, or do you think we should leave them like this? So Drew and I talked for a while about these fruit trees because it is we're trying to figure out we don't really know much. We got a lot of advice from you guys, which is another huge part of this community, mm -hmm. that we gotta move these fruit trees around because they were way too close together. So after going back and forth with Drew, Kaylee, and Richard, we said we're gonna move them. We moved one out of every other, so now they're 10 feet apart instead of five feet apart. Much so, better. So thank you guys for the advice because we, saved, we might have saved our fruit trees' lives. I think one of the other big things in the back of our minds is our parents. Mm. Both of my parents have been here now and none of your parents have been here. So two days, in two days, my dad and my stepmom are coming down for the first Time. And how are you feeling about it? The biggest emotion that I'm feeling is excitement. I'm so excited. I'm so grateful that they're coming down. We're going to be spending a week together. But of course, I'm a little nervous. I'm, I'm very curious to see what his reaction and, and what his perception of all of this is going to be. So we tried to get the land a little cleaned up too. It's like kind of time for me to eat a slice of humble pie and look at my rain roof and be like, this thing's a disaster. We need to take this whole thing down and start all over. <laughs> Try to salvage some of the wood at least. Yeah, and especially like not leave it out in the rain. So we spent some time yesterday also taking down the whole rain roof. Facing the destruction that of heartbreak, you know? Just didn't realizing how much freaking time I spent on all this. <laughs> I always take it all apart. But we've been thinking of some other projects we can make out of this, you know? Just trying to repurpose all the wood. But making it's... Jordan do all the heavy lifting. He's trying to make me do all the heavy lifting. <laughs> hey, it saved you two trips. You did it all in one. Dude, I just easy ride it, you know? Because after I do like a heavy thing like that, I gotta just relax for a little bit. But if I can just- but that's what the walk back is for. No, 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 that's still <laughs> exercising. How'd you get so strong? <laughs> wow, dude. You beasted this out, dude. Huh? You beasted this out. Oh, tried it. You did a whole side. It took us three days to do a whole side. You did it in one day. <laughs> Study technique down and put these damn fingers to it. <laughs> it pulls the skin off a little bit, doesn't yeah. it? <laughs> Check this video, you guys. Wow, you can see the top of the volcano oh, right there. Sure, finally for the day. Wow, wow, wow. I think this is the most peaceful night we've ever had up here. <laughs> The day ended with just such a stereotypical south wind day where these clouds come in and you're totally fogged out and then the fog starts to break. And the clouds just look, it looks like you're, it's straight out of Narnia. It just looks unbelievable. And we had an amazing view to close out the day. But today is a really good example of a north wind day. So the wind's coming from here and this is what you're given. Crystal clear, clear blue skies, a little bit of a breeze, which is kind of nice, but sometimes it can bring some really strong wind. Yeah. Not today though, today is... But we needed this, and our wood needed this too. This is all the wood we stacked up. 
and it got a little soaked being out in the rain. So now we're just opening it up. We're gonna try to let some of this wood dry up. So we're letting this out, but the north wind also brings a good opportunity to paint the bus. Nice grab. You feeding me? I only do these types of things when I'm filming it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> so we're just taking a little chips and dip break. I just want to take a moment to let you guys know. Uh, this is going to be our final kind of like call or final announcement of our El Salvador trip. So we're keeping the like the reservations open for one more week. So this is the last time you're gonna hear from us about this. So there's two rooms available left. There's one private hut, and then there's one bed in the community room. There's 12 of us that are going so far. Mm -hmm. We'd love to have two or three more people. Yeah. So if you'd like to come to El Salvador with us, there's a top link in the description. We're gonna go surfing. Kids gonna teach yoga classes. We're gonna do a ton of cultural stuff. We're gonna have incredible, incredible food, all inclusive. All inclusive except for alcohol. Except so if any of you guys are looking to party, might not be your cup of tea, but... I mean, we could party a little bit. Yeah, we'll do a little bit of partying. A little bit of partying. So, if any of you guys are looking to escape the cold, maybe, want to come on a vacation with us, dates are March 1st to the 7th. Top link in the description if you want to come. So we've been up here grinding all this roof sealing off in the last few hours. And we actually got a power drill. Went to the store and grabbed one real quick. Because the battery on the cordless drill was just dying. And five minutes. So we got this, it's working much, much better. We're actually running it off of our solar and we have our bus on. So we can use our buses as kind of like a backup generator if we need it, just turn the engine on. But I wanted to show you something kind of cool. This is something we learned while traveling. If you see these solar panels, take a look. They're absolutely covered with all little paint chips and dust from grinding. And let me show you something real quick. Look at how much power we're, we're currently getting. 3.6 amps, see that right there? That's how much we're generating from solar. Now watch this. Quick wash and a scrub. And now check this out. 8.8 .8 amps. It's almost three times as much power. And you guys that are doing solar out there, make sure your solar panels are clean. You don't even want any shadows on them. Keep them as clean as you can, especially if they're hooked up in series. It's really, really important. This is, this is a big moment right here. We made we the choice of this paint though in like two minutes. <laughs> like, uh, that one. We kept going back and forth for days trying to figure out what color we wanted to do. We went with white, we went with black. We finally decided we're gonna do a color, a very bright color. So this is what we decided on. Is that the little teaser right there Woo! on the edge? <laughs> you ready for the big reveal? I'm so ready. Go for it. Woo! Wow. <laughs> wow, it's gonna look awesome. That's so pretty. So it's like this greenish blue, I don't know, is that turquoise? Is that what they yeah, call it? it's like a turquoisey. So this is gonna be the greenish blue, this is gonna be white, the rest is gonna be greenish blue. Wow, it looks Actually, even Actually, that's gonna be white too. Sun. And then the roof is gonna be white. And then, eventually we're gonna put a real door in here. I'm gonna have to pick a color for the door. That's a project for another day though. But I'll tell you that this is it, huh? I love it. I know you wanna keep going, but I don't think we really need to. I just wanna do one more stroke. Okay, <laughs> we've been really trying to get things going, like get things moving all day so we could paint it, but we are not even close. This is like... It's just like one thing after another. I remember why we didn't paint this bus in the first place. We were like, all right, we could either paint it and wait a week or we could just go and travel right now. And we just opted for traveling right now. But now it's time for Jenny to get a nice facelift. It's just taken a really long time. Mm. There's a funny story about this pie. Oh yeah, you think it's funny? I think it's hilarious. I think it's even funnier because I told Kaylee I wanted to make this video about having a piece of humble pie because this has been a very humbling last couple of days. So punny, so punny. In reality, I just wanted pie. So this is, just, a, this is just an excuse so I could get a piece I'm of sorry, pie. I'm sorry I'm talking my mouth open, but 
I immediately called him out. I'm like, the only reason <laughs> you, you want to end this vlog with the whole pun of having a slice of humble pie. It's because you want pie. You want pie. In all honesty, though, it has been a humbling couple of days. <laughs> Not only has it been humbling because we are so slow. I don't know if it's slow, but just everything's been taking so long that's been like humbling about how much effort everything is if you want to do it right. Right. But even bigger than that. Just how everything's been going over the last few weeks. The biggest thing being the people that have been a part of this with us over the, the last pe few weeks. The people have made sacrifices. Like that's, the people have made sacrifices to come be a part of this. Huge sacrifices. So it's like, it means a lot to us. But all does. these people that we met and all these people that want to come and be a part of this, so. Absolutely. What are you, what are you doing, bud? How'd you get, oh, on, Lily, get out of the way. How'd you get on our land? Come on, Cal, let's go. How did you get over here? You're all right, you're all right, you're all right. He's so scared. I don't know where he came through. He's gonna just go through that way. Oh, poor guy. Well, he's back now. He's back with all of his friends and family. Poor little guy, he had to go through the barbed wire. Well, at least we know that cows can get through this. I would never think that cows would be able to get through that, but if they try hard enough, I guess they can. Baby! Lola! She ran through the electric fence. She, she ran through the barbed wire. Oof, that She's hurts. Okay. That hurts. She's okay. You poor girl. Honey, it's okay. Mm. We'll wash that up for you, okay? You're gonna be alright. That's actually, what happens, huh? It's on the outside of her eye. Yeah, when the, the cow scared her and she ran through yeah, the barbed wire. Yeah, I looked wire. at it right away and it literally, it's just like right in the corner. It didn't get her eye at all. Mm, you poor baby, I she's know. scared. It looks bad because it's bleeding, but yeah. when it when it just happened, it really wasn't that bad. There was just like some skin that came off. It looks really we just bad gotta, though. We just gotta clean it up. Yeah. Oh, sweet thing. Well, I think this is where we're gonna let you guys oh, go. Oh, babies. <sighs> what a... Uh, what a day, what a last couple of days, and what a way for all this to end. Like, we haven't seen a sunset like this in quite a while. So, we'll just say goodbye here and leave you with this awesome sunset.